you know what I have stuck in my mind? This Paragon S. Like, I'm so confused at how they got this car looking so much like the new Bentley, the Mulliner Bateau. Like, it actually looks, it looks quite realistic with Rockstar's twist on it. And the back as well. The back, <laughs> I'm, I'm near identical. I think this is, okay, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks very, very close for a car that's brand new as well. Like, how can you get that close to it and not get in trouble, Rockstar? I mean, the last thing I want is Rockstar to get sued over one of these things and then go back to making not so realistic cars. What will Rockstar do? Like, if Rockstar actually gets sued for a car like this, they'd have to remove from the game. And everyone's put, they're like, after everyone's purchased one? I don't know. Okay, let's not miss any modifications this time, Hella. <laughs> Exhaust. You'll know that if you uh, watch the i8 video, I actually missed the arch covers. Oh, what is this? What? So they decided to do fake exhaust surrounds, but make the whole exhaust inside so visible. What is that? Why? Like, okay, with this one, it's not so visible. But when you've got titanium tips, it's the most obvious thing. Now, I like these black bore exhaust. They're probably the option I'm going to go with. And there goes Heller again when he... Hang on. Oh. What? Rockstar! You broke a car again. Where's the exhaust for the square exhaust? <laughs> We've got, apparently we've got an invisible exhaust now. Oh my god, how many cars have you got broken, Rockstar, in this, in this DLC? Crazy, crazy. Right, I know what option I'm going for. <laughs> Definitely not the missing exhaust options. Like, <laughs> what is this, Rockstar? Come on, come on. Like, I, I, I missed it the first time. Definitely didn't miss it the second time. How? How do you do that? Okay, I'm going for this exhaust option. Grill. We have, ooh, we have some different meshes. What does the actual bateau have? Okay, I think it has, it has like normal mesh type, like this type of grill, but it looks way more of 3D and nice. Of course, I mean, it's real life, but I'm, I'll just go for that option too. Hood, we have hood pins. Ooh, wow, on a 1.5 million pound car, like you'd want hood pins, yes. Perfect. And then we have options which, again, are like race hood, secondary race hood, carbon race hood. Okay, okay, I was expecting one more, but uh, we've got three different variants of one hood. Um, yeah, I feel bad about it, but it seems very common now in GTA, so I can't complain much. Is there is there one that has a minimalistic hood option? Like, like a little grooves, but you know. Very minimal? No, I think the only option we have is a stock hood. And I know, it's actually, I used to have a lot of people commenting, hella, hella, your cars are so stock, like, your cars are so boring, and I get it, I get it, if you like abstract cars, and cars that are out there, but I'm actually getting less and less of those comments now. It's like, everyone's opinion is changing, like, everyone's getting a bit more with their modifications I hope that's not me or other people like affecting the community like that I hope so we have carbon mirrors um, hmm. yeah we'll leave it nice and premium but I just can't I can't just I can't get away from this thing looking like the Roma uh, especially in GTA as well rear diffuser okay I don't want to escape the look the really good look that Rockstar have gone with here um, the realistic look. I'm going to... Look how aggressive that is. That is way too much for me. For me. Um, hmm. I do like these modifications. They're not too bad. Like the, the, it's a big diffuser. Don't get me wrong, but it's not that bad. I'll go for this option. A lot more tame. I don't know why I ordered this thing in hot pink. Gold is a nice premium color. And gold it is. Wow. <laughs> a few options down and it was actually quite nice to look at. We'll add probably felt a brown there. And that's just like a more realistic pearl to the car. Whoa, what? Oh, secondary colour is the interior stitching, so be aware. And yeah, the BMW interior from the i8 is in this car too. That new interior 
Um, yeah, it looks a bit like like the hazards and the air vents. They look like BMW, I guess, interior, but it's in this Bentley too. Um, not really what you want with this. I'm already complaining. This is new interior and I'm already complaining, but you know, it is kind of still 2D. It's not like Rockstar have fully upgraded it and gave us a totally 3D interior, but it's better than what we had. It's better than what we had. Now, skirts. We have a few skirts options and the skirts seem to be, yeah, quite generic GTA skirts. I mean, you, when it comes to skirts anyway, you can't really do totally different designs. Um, I will be going for a nice sleek option. Again, when it comes to it, I might be a bit boring. I might, you know, like two tamer modifications, but it's it's all cool. Like, I, I don't care. Like, if you guys, the one thing I care most about is you going with your own judgment and your own opinion on what looks good. Like, if you go for a modification I go with and then you don't like it, like, I don't know. <laughs> People who do that have lost respect for me. Like, oh, copy somebody else because someone else says it looks cool. Like, if you think adding the craziest of modifications is cool and you are actually happy and passionate about that, like, bro, that's that's what the car scene's about. Like, yeah. Well, a lot of people ruin it, of course. I don't know what to go for. Like, every option seems... That looks cool, though. That does look cool. Like, whoa. Unique splitter option. I'm going to go for it. Just go for it. I went tame, tame, tame throughout the whole car. And then splitter, that is unique. So I have to go for it. Um, spoilers. Okay. I do want a spoiler on this car. I think it does look a bit plain at the back. But a spoiler that is suited. We've got lip spoilers. We've got these spoilers. Um, yeah. I don't know what to go for. What do we go for? I'm just going to go for this. I think it's... I, I don't like it that much, but it seems to be the best option for me. If we had the, like, the swan neck a bit more, I don't know, colour contrasted to the car, then maybe. But I don't think so. I don't think for me. Uh, we're not going to go for sun strips, I don't think. Suspension, let's see. Probably what I expect now. I will, again, I will be testing. If this car lowers, I'm guessing it doesn't, but people want to know if it lowers people keep asking this car's probably gonna blow up i have a feeling no it didn't blow up and it didn't lower either so a shame a shame oh no i don't like the i don't like the spoiler i don't even like the splitter anymore okay oh that sticks out way too much i was just about to say i've changed everything to my yeah oh no spoiler then no spoiler at the end of it i feel I, I do think it does need something but i guess and it still looks quite high up even though i put the lowest suspension on it it does look quite high up let's try and test this thing let's see how fast it is oh it's got some pickup to it oh good thing i didn't put a spoiler on it because it has an adaptable spoiler uh, adaptable and yeah the aero spoiler it, it works like it actually like it's cool it's actually cool it works and I, I'm, I'm happy now I'm happy now like I was kind of concerned about this with the spoiler options it had and how I mean it's not the best it's not the best looking spoiler uh, okay hella you're supposed to be talking about the handling which it does not have which the handling is the handling is not great the handling is not great but um, were we expecting a lot from this car I don't know but it is it does pick up speed for a non-HSW vehicle, but it does have some mass to it. Now let's go put our Armani Tech options on it. So we have armor plating, which is, I don't, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> if you die, you die. If, I, I, I don't want to put that look on the car. We have remote controlled unit and a missile lock on jammer. So I would go for the missile lock on jammer, but I really, I need money for the next few cars. So. I'm, I can't put that on right now. Got proximity mines. So we can do slick mines. And what else do we have? And that is it. That is it for Amani Tech. I mean, I think that's all the modifications you can actually put on the vehicle. But yes, I am saving money. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Hopefully you did enjoy. And if you did, please do leave a like. See you guys in the next one.